Hello, friends. I'm going to begin this week with a prayer about truth. But I want to start with a quote from President Joe Biden. For much too long, the history of what took place here was told in silence, cloaked in darkness. But just because history is silence, it doesn't mean that it did not take place. And while darkness can hide much, it erases nothing. It erases nothing. Some injustices are so heinous, so horrific, so grievous, they can't be buried no matter how hard people try. Only with truth can come healing and justice and repair. Only with truth facing it. We can't just choose to learn what we want to know and not what we should know. We should know the good, the bad, everything. That's what great nations do. They come to terms with their dark sides. And we're a great nation. The only way to build a common ground is to truly repair and to rebuild. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we pray for the promotion of truth in our country and the world. We pray that we can learn the truth and that we can separate it from that which is not. We pray for the gift of the discernment of truth because the truth is an element of love. Teach us to better love our neighbors and better do what we can do to allow our neighbors to love us. Or, as we do, help us to seek the truth in all that we hear and in all that we say. Amen. Our reading is from the book of Proverbs, from the 12th chapter, verses 17 through 19. Whoever speaks the truth gives honest evidence, but a false witness speaks deceitfully. Rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.